everybody and welcome back to Beauty Swirl. So today is going to be my very first episode, story time episode one. And the topic is going to be the time I overdosed on weed brownies. Yes, you can overdose. You definitely can overdose. I don't know who said you can't overdose on weed, but you can. So stay tuned. All right, you guys, I know you're looking at the title like nobody overdosed on weed. Weed is natural. You can't overdose. But you can, you can smoke a little bit too much or you can't eat a little bit of too much of brownies and your body can't really handle it. So I call that overdosing. Yes, let's get right into the story. <laughs> so me personally, I'm not a big weed smoker. What? I don't really, you know, partake in the weed. So whenever I do partake, it's like one puff, I'm done. I'm super high, I'm annoyed, I'm regretting even smoking it. So yes, I'm a super lightweight when it comes to, you know. Partaking in um, the, the weed. So as you can see, I'm already a lightweight, so anything more than a puff is gonna be way too much for me. So keep that in mind. So my boyfriend at the time made some wheat brownies and he said it was mixed with perp and kush, whatever that is, perp and kush. So it's like two strong weeds that he made into the brownie. So yeah, so I'm calling myself, I'm gonna try the brownie. I've always wanted to try some weed brownies and he made it so I'm going to try it. So yes, I'm eating the weed brownie and I'm like, hmm, I'm not feeling nothing. So I take another bite, wait a little bit, not feeling nothing. I end up eating the whole brownie. Not feeling anything. 10, 20 minutes go by. I'm like, this is not working for me. What did you do with it? I, I'm, a, I'm already a lightweight. So I'm like, okay, maybe I need to eat a little bit more. So I took another weed brownie. <laughs> Started eating on that. Felt nothing. So I ate that whole weed brownie. So now I've eaten two weed brownies. They're about the size of... The weed brownie was probably about the size of this NARS container. You know, not too thick, but maybe around that size. And I ate two of those, okay? So I'm like, okay, whatever. You didn't you didn't make those weed brownies right, so we just laughing and talking and stuff. <laughs> so maybe like 20 minutes after I ate the last weed brownie, we were on our way to the mall. So we were going to Lenox Mall because I wanted to pick up some outfits because we were going to a concert later on in that week. So I was going to pick up a couple of dresses to try on and stuff like that. So... Yeah, on the way to the mall, I'm starting to feel a little bit funny. I'm like, hmm, is this thing is sticking up on me? And I'm telling my boyfriend, like, I think I'm getting high. He's like, yeah, you're gonna get high, you ate some weed brownies. So I'm like, okay, hopefully I'm not gonna get too high because I ate two weed brownies. I'm not too worried about it by then because I'm just feeling good. You know, I'm starting to get a little high, so I'm starting to get a little bit giggly and you know, happy and we're just out in the city. We're going to the mall, I'm gonna buy some dresses. I'm just in a happy mood. So by the time we get into the mall, you know, I'm still getting hella high. I'm getting higher and higher and higher by the minute. But, you know, I could tolerate it and it felt good. You know, it was that good high. So, you know, I'm in the mall and we were at D... I forgot the name of the store, but it's a store that's not there anymore. It's like an urban store. So we went in this urban store and I was trying on some dresses. He was picking out some dresses for me and I was trying it on. I was in the dressing room trying on some dresses and then I'm like... Yo, this is getting a little bit too intense for me. Like, I need to get up out of here because something is not right. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling good. I'm about to freak out in my head. And I'm like, just get me out of this story. Like, just get me home. So I'm coming out. I'm like, please, just pick out some dresses. Pay for it. I'll try it on at home. And, you know, whatever. If I don't like it, I'll bring it back. So he's like paying for the dresses. We're at the uh, register. The store is completely packed, you guys. It's like a Saturday. The mall is completely packed. So, yes. So I'm at the register standing next to my boyfriend. And he's paying for the stuff. And I'm like getting super high. And it's getting like super, super intense. Like I'm getting super high, super quick. So I'm just standing there like, yo, just put this shit back. Let's just leave right now because I'm not feeling good. I'm about to pass the fuck out. Like I'm about to pass out. He's like, man, just chill out. Chill out, man. You just, you'll be okay. Just let me finish paying for the stuff and we can leave. I'm like, no, I'm about to pass out. He's like, man, just chill out. I'm almost done paying for the stuff. So I'm just standing there holding on to him because I'm just like freaking out by now. My face is getting really, 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 really hot. And I'm just like, yo, what the hell is going on? 
I've never felt this way. This shit was just freaking me the hell out, right? So I'm holding on to him. I'm like, yo, get me out of the store. Like, we gotta leave right now. He's almost done paying for the stuff. And the woman at the counter just looking at me. Everybody's just starting to look at me by now because I'm just telling him, let's get the hell out of this store because I'm about to pass out. So I'm like, yo, let's go. And then by the time I finish my sentence, I'm just blacking out and I'm just sliding down on him like this. I just completely blacked out. My body completely gave out and I just passed the hell out in the middle of the store in the middle of everything and I just passed out on my boyfriend luckily he caught me so he's holding me up like this and I'm just repeatedly passing out over and over and over you guys this was the most maybe like the most embarrassing moment of my life like in the middle of a packed store passing out over and over so he's dragging me out of the store because by then i i can't even i can't even hold myself up like my body just keeps passing out i keep blacking out blacking out blacking out so he drags me out of the store and takes me into the mall and there's like a bench that's like right next to the store so he sat me on the bench and i'm just sitting there like i can't even stay up like my body just keeps going like this because i'm passing out over and over and i'm like just get me some water get me some water and then we can try to make it down those escalators and we can make it to the car outside because <laughs> i'm just by now i'm just like get me the hell out of here because something is not right i'm like yo do we need to call an ambulance so you know he's like hell no we ain't call no ambulance he's like man just chill out sit right here i'm gonna go get you some water he already had finished paying for the stuff so he brought the stuff and sat it next to me went and got me some water I don't even want him to leave me but I wanted him to get me some water to see if that's gonna make me you know calm down and feel a little better so he left me to go get some water which felt like hours I was sitting on that bitch like hours felt like and I'm just like not enough not enough because it ain't happening my body is not taking it it's just shutting down so I'm just sitting there looking crazy people are looking at me so he comes back with the water. I drink some of the water. I'm trying to get up the energy so we can get up and go down those escalators so we can get up out of there. So he stands me up and we're trying to get down the escalators, but I'm still nodding off. He's still like dragging me, holding me down the escalators. So he sat me down in the food court and I'm just sitting at the table and he was going to go get the car and bring it up to the front. So, you know, I won't have far to walk. So I'm sitting there in the food court at the table, like sitting there on the table like this, trying to just lay down. But I'm laying down like this and I'm going. And people are just looking at me like, what the hell is wrong with this girl? Like, I'm just looking around. Everybody's looking at me. So that made me freak out even more. So I'm just sitting there trying to keep my composure, but I'm just steady not enough about to fall off the table fall off the chair it wasn't funny then but now looking back on it and every time i tell this story it's like super funny to me because i shouldn't have been eating all those wee brownies in the first place so he comes back in he grabs me takes me to the car i'm sitting in the car by that time you know my mind is a little bit more at ease because i'm not in a crowded mall you know everything from there on was kind of a blank i don't remember nothing else that happened that day because we went straight home and I went straight to bed. So I don't remember nothing else that happened after the mall. I just know I went to bed and I slept it off. So the very next day I woke up and I was still high, you guys. And I was still super high. But it was at the point where I can handle it. Like, I can handle it. That was the high that I wanted to achieve. So that was the high that I wanted to get the next day that I woke up. So yes, I was high that whole day the next day. So you know, I was eating a lot. I was giggling, calling people, telling them what happened and all this stuff. So you guys, that was like the worst time ever. By the second day, I was feeling a little bit more myself. So I told him to get rid of those weed brownies because I was never going to touch them again. I'm never going to take anything edible because that that really sneaks up on you. It doesn't happen right then, but it might happen one to two, three hours down the line and you can't even take it no more because you don't overdose eating on some weed brownies. Don't say no to drugs. Say no to drugs because you don't want to be good for you. And the sad thing about it, that's not my first time overdosing on some weed. Yeah. I have another intense story the very first time I overdosed on weed and that was just you know smoking weed 
this time I was eating some wheat brownies. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was all over the place because you know this was just a spare in a moment. I just wanted to tell my story and yeah. So apparently you can overdose on some weed. <laughs> so let me know you guys' story. Have you ever overdosed on some weed brownies? Let me know. How did it affect you and all that good stuff? I would love to hear you guys' story. I want to know that I'm not the only one that can actually, you know, freak out on some weed brownies. Let me know you guys' story, okay? So let me know if you like these story time videos and I will have my next one out for you very shortly. Just leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. So if you haven't already and you'd like to, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You're going to go ahead and press subscribe on the top right corner. Make sure you click the little icon on the side of it and click send me updates so you won't miss out on any of the new videos coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I'll take us back to times when lives were similar and times it all seemed easier. Alright, so with my brows, you know.